What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Jared and I'm standing in our brand new photo studio. Today what we want to do is show you how we built it. <laughs> so we are going to be turning this space behind me into an awesome photo studio. This space in the past for us has been a space where customers could walk in and we've sold web design, signage, we've sold print. Obviously with 2020 just crushing small businesses, there really isn't that much of a demand for those services. However, headshots, photography services of people's businesses are actually booming. So a photo studio it is. And honestly, a photo studio is way cooler than having a storefront selling those services. All right, so we've identified three different problems with our specific space. Problem number one, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to block off this window light as much as possible. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna hang black muslin cloth. Marvelous. Number two, what we're trying to do is we're gonna actually hang some backdrops on our white coated brick here. Remember kids, always wear proper eye gear. And then the third thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to paint all the walls black in here because we're trying to minimize the amount of bounce back at our subject. Again, just goes with the theme of trying to isolate our light as much as possible and just have complete control over our space. So I got my stud finder, I have my measuring tape. We're gonna find some studs. <laughs> Straight up drywall. Oh, this is not good. Oh, no, no, no. I think this might be just drywall, broski. Huh? Yeah, there's one there. There's one there. I see it actually. No, it's just a matter of measuring. This thing is so puny. Uh, we have our black pipe. We have our flush mount. We have a, a, a street elbow here. And we're gonna hang this thing. We're gonna get it up there and find our studs again. And hopefully it doesn't all come crashing down. Yeah, Sonny. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Okay, so now we have safely secured our black pipe to uh, the wall, and we're gonna actually attach this before we do the second one. Here is our muslin. This length is 12 foot long, um, so about one foot every, every one foot there is a grommet to be able to put um, these rings, and these are honestly just shower curtain rings that we got from Target. We bought our muslin with a fire retardant already applied to this. I'm gonna bring this up right now and attach this, and we'll see how far we get. I think I would be an awesome interior decorator, actually. All right, now that we've talked about how to control light from the outside coming in, let's talk about how to control light right here in the studio. Okay, so now you can see we flipped the camera around. You're now looking at the back of the studio. And what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna paint everything behind me, including the ceiling, completely black. And that's so that we're not creating kind of a bounced light situation where whenever we bring our strobes in here, whenever we bring our continuous light in here, our lighting can be as controlled as possible because it's not bouncing all over the place. We're essentially doing what's called a negative fill. And that's just creating a black background that absorbs all of the light that hits it or as much light as humanly possible. Here's where we're gonna put our manual control background support elevator. In other words, a wall bracket that supports three different backdrops. In this case, we're gonna put three different paper backdrops up, but they're interchangeable, so if you have a shoot coming up, you can swap in three backdrops that you like, maybe that the client is interested in. But we're gonna put up the bracket right now. I mean, these are mad cheap. I'm talking about under $100 on B&H. Super cheap, super affordable, really easy way to set up a studio in a matter of, I'm gonna try to do this in under an hour and do it really straight. We'll see how that goes. I'll make it look like it's straight in post for sure. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I think that is good.
All right guys, so that's pretty much the gist of things. We got our backgrounds up, we painted our backdrop behind you, and we've also hung our pipe and drape. Now all that's left is we're gonna clean this place up, make it look really cool, throw you some cool B-roll, and then get someone in here to photograph them. All right guys, so we're gonna wrap our photo session today. Mr. Richie, thank you yep. for being a part, being our beautiful model and videographer. Guys, we're gonna put out some great new content like this periodically. If you're a videographer looking to get into maybe a little bit of photography, hopefully this was helpful for you. But also know that a space like this can also be used for video sessions as well, setting up quick interviews. If you like this video, make sure you're giving us a thumbs up Make sure if this is your first time watching Wedding Film School, give us a subscribe, guys, because we do all kinds of content that is hopefully helpful to video creators. And hit that bell button, too, because then you can get notifications to all the different videos that we're posting on a weekly basis. And we will see you in the next session. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. All right.